Joe Biden, who, as you know, is the acting president of the United States. This is a man who uh, gives speeches every now and again, and then accidentally, when he goes off teleprompter, always says that he's gonna get in trouble when he starts telling you the truth, or he loses his train of thought, or fumbles and mumbles, or runs away from questions, or they hide him, or all, all this stuff. Nonetheless, the guy is supposedly the president. Uh, now it is coming out that basically the administration is coordinating with the mainstream media because they don't like some of the coverage they're getting. Now, before I read you the, the quotes from the Daily Wire here, really think about how crazy this is. We had four years of the orange man being president where every single story was about racism and xenophobia and this is Hitler and a democracy is over and everything. There's basically in the mainstream, there's really no criticism of Biden. You know, like, sure, we're having supply chain problems. Inflation is a disaster in Afghanistan, like the list goes on and on. But there's really no criticism, real criticism of Biden. They either blame it on Trump or it's not, you know, Biden's doing the best he can. He released two days worth of gas. You know, the guy's trying. He released two days worth of gas. That's funny. Uh, anyway, uh, the administration basically is coordinating now with mainstream media on how they should cover them. Uh, we've got some info here from the Daily Wire. Uh, CNN reported the White House not happy with news media coverage. News media's coverage of the supply chain and economy has been working behind the scenes trying to reshape cover coverage in its favor. Senior White House and administration officials, including NEC Deputy Directors David Kamen and Bharat Ramuti, along with uh, Envoy John Porsari, have been briefing major newsrooms over the past week, a source tells me. The officials have been discussing with newsroom trends pertaining to job creation, economic growth, supply chains, and more. The basic argument that has been made that the country's economy is in much better shape than it was last year. I'm told the conversations have been productive with anchors and reporters and producers getting to talk with the officials. Biden's approval rating is so low that he has had a lower approval rating than every governor in the US and his approval rating has dipped to as low as 18% in one state. So first off on the Biden approval rating thing, I mean, this is the man, he got 81 million votes and don't you doubt it. His approval rating is just absolutely in the tank. Okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, this idea though, that administration officials go to newsrooms, talk to news anchors, talk to reporters and journalists and help them craft coverage. Does that sound like journalism? To you, does that sound like, Michael, can you get me the definition of the word journalism? We're gonna get the definition, the very definition of the word. Does that sound like journalism or does that sound like scripting? Does that sound like uh, getting an approved narrative across, right? If you're going into a room and you're trying to get people to say the things that you want them to say. So that's what they're doing, they're administration officials. Oh, well, well the economy's better than uh, you think it is and we're gonna show you these things. And that, that sounds like what Hollywood would do, not what journalism would do. I've got the very definition of the word journalism. Journalism is the production and distribution of reports on current events based on facts and supported with proof or evidence. Well, that sounds like journalism as we knew it, not journalism as we know it. Anyway, I suppose this doesn't surprise any of you because obviously it didn't surprise me, but it was worth mentioning because it's like the administration's admitting it. Like we know all the stuff they do behind the scenes, right? They leak things to the New York Times, they leak things to the Washington Post, they cover up things when it doesn't fit the narrative, but they're literally right in front of our faces saying, guys, in essence, what they're saying is, guys, we hand them the script, we talk to the news anchors. Wonder if they talked to Chris Cuomo. Wonder if they talked to Don Lamont. Wonder if they talked to, talk to some of these people. You know, it's like, and then you watch this stuff and you think you're getting fact-based or proof or evidence-based reporting from honest people. And what you're actually getting is Pravda. You're actually just getting talking points from the administration. You don't need talking points from an administration to go down the street like I can over here and basically still see all of these boarded up stores or virtually every single store, almost without exception, saying $15 an hour, we're hiring. People can't get people to work because people are now on the government dole. These companies, these businesses, these diners, these restaurants, they, I assure you they're not thriving. And the idea, I'll try to give the devil his due. If you believe the economy's say a little bit better than it was last year, well, last year we were supposedly in the worst pandemic of all time, the pandemic that the vaccines and old Joe Biden were supposed to fix. So is it possible at some level, at some analysis of the data, 
that the economy's a little bit better now than when we were in sort of still full lockdowns or half lockdowns or whatever, I suppose that might be true at some level, but you'd have to do a lot of narrative work. You'd have to do a lot of fiction writing to make it really hold water. So anyway, I don't believe these people. That's the uh, bumper sticker.